You might be wondering, why in the world would anyone be addicted to a game like Toontown? Why in the world are people addicted to video games at all? These are valid questions, but they can be explained by studying the way that drug addictions work on the human psyche and how they relate to the way that MMORPGs work on the human brain. One, two, three, four. Without going too much into the scientific details and getting lost in jargon, dopamine is a chemical that's released into the brain when there is a moment of pleasure or a sense of reward. Uh, dopamine doesn't work exactly the same in video games and drugs. In drugs, obviously directly taking the drug, injecting it, smoking it, whatever you're doing will cause a rush of dopamine that will trigger a reward and pleasure center in the brain, and there will be a craving for that to continue into the future. Now, for video games, it's a bit different because the reward isn't necessarily just from logging onto the game. It's whenever a task is accomplished, whenever some amount of progress is made, the brain will release dopamine as a signaling of reward, and this can become a pattern that the brain also expects and craves. Toontown Online is actually a video game that triggers dopamine receptors at surprisingly high levels and frequent intervals. The reason for this is because almost every single microcosm of Toontown itself is broken down into small, pleasurable rewards that feel like individual accomplishments. Every single time you defeat a boss, you get your merits, you finish a Toon task, you get a new gag, it's triggering powerful pleasure receptors that signal that you've made significant progress. Every single minutia of this game, as you progress through it, is a new opportunity to trigger a new release of dopamine. In fact, pretty much no matter at what point you are in the game, whether you're 135 laugh or 15 laugh, probably on the hour, every hour, you could feel a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment, whether it be collecting new SOS cards to getting your tune out of Toontown Central. It's just a constant forward progress motion of consistent, never-ending dopamine triggers. Another similarity shared between drug addiction and Toontown addiction is the idea that these activities are filling a void in the person's life. Now, these voids can be a little bit different, and they often are. So, for example, someone might turn to drugs because of turmoil in their personal or professional life, or just not getting enough stimulation or satisfaction from their day-to-day -day activities. The idea of what you are replacing when you turn to drugs is mostly due to direct pleasure not getting enough of maybe very close personal connections, these type of relationships. Drugs can be acting as a substitute for these actions. Not a very sustainable long-term one, but these are some of the things that might turn somebody to drugs in the first place. Not all the time, but this can definitely be a contributing factor. Similarly, I definitely don't think in all cases people who play Toontown heavily are lacking in other areas of their life, but I do think it's reasonable to say that quite often People who are very heavily involved in MMOs might not have the best interpersonal connections. They might not have a lot of time they're spending with their friends outside of school or work in their real world. They might have difficulties with their parents or might just have difficulties relating with other people. Or they could also just have some type of turmoil. And all these activities might lead to an isolated life where an MMO might be part of what drives them forward and appeals to them. And in both cases, the idea behind stimulating your dopamine either with drugs or with video games is to fill this void and hopefully make yourself feel better. But the problem with filling a void in this manner is that it becomes incredibly hard to break. Once you have established this void that you're trying to fill and you fill it in this way, it's incredibly difficult to break off because any absence from this activity will lead to just feeling like shit for an extended period of time and this is heavily undesirable. This is also one of the main mechanisms that leads to an addictive pattern for video games in particular, because even though there's no physical or emotional withdrawal per se from a substance like a drug, the fact that not having that stimulation in your life, and also just many times not having those friend connections that you've made online, breaking away from what was giving you pleasure, it's a different experience from a drug, but it's the same principle that it's incredibly hard to do because... Going from something that improves your life, makes you feel better in the short term, to just suddenly breaking it off and feeling like absolute shit because you're trying to eventually re replace your void of other activities doesn't exactly work. And again, the main issue with overusing these video games is not that it doesn't help, it's that 
it isn't a solution. It's just a way to patch up the problem of some type of void in your life. And again, I know not everyone who uses the game uses it in this way. In fact, I don't think many people do, but it's the same idea for those who take it way too far, just like those who consume drugs to the point of being physically addicted, where when taking this too far, it leads to a dependency. So the primary similarity between a drug addiction and an addiction to an MMO like Toontown is that in both instances, the end result is a place that's incredibly hard to break away from. For different reasons, there's a lot more focus on the social relationships you build, the connection you make to your characters, and also just the addiction to the progression of your stats and how much time you've invested. All of those are a combination of reasons, but in both cases it becomes a pattern where it's very hard to break free of an addiction if it forms within you. Now, the one good thing and the one thing that I will definitely make sure to mention is that a real downside to the heavy drug addiction, you know, something like heroin, is obviously you get to a point where you build up a tolerance, a physical tolerance, you progress to needing more and more money and toler and you need to get more and more of the drug just to continue living functionally. And it's very likely that you end up in some type of rehabilitation facility or just have immense consequences once that breaking point is reached where the addiction is no longer sustainable. I would say that the addiction is a lot easier to sustain if it's something like an MMO. You just kind of need to have a very base money source. The game itself is very cheap in most instances, or free if it's like TTR. So the main detriment that the addiction causes is sort of how people, I would say, might view weed as being a detriment, where it might not directly fuck with you, you know, emotionally to the point where you're just going to have an absolute, like, addict-level breakdown to where, you know, like, you're just sprawling out on the floor breaking shit and, like, crying and, like, throwing up for weeks. Not, like, that type of stuff. More so what happens is you spend so much time on this addiction that it gets in the way of you being able to form other skills in the real world. Skills like academia, whatever you're interested in, or even just becoming a well-rounded functional human being. It's very difficult to build all those necessary skills if you don't work at all to develop them. It's kind of the same idea as if you just smoked weed and, you know jacked off and, you know, watch TV 20 hours a day. It's, it's the exact same idea. So really, the danger is not to the point where it's going to immediately kill you, but the same idea of being in a very difficult to break loop for different reasons, but equally founded in the principles of dopamine, pleasure, and reward are the ultimate effects of this addiction. And that's really why I think it goes so hand in hand with drug addiction when really broken down and analyzed.